Hey guys, Pat Ryarkey here, also known as the Patriarchy, kicking social justice ass and all kinds of ass in a 2017 and the beyond. Okay, so this this is kind of old this news, but there's a follow up to it that I'm going to cover first. But let's look at this article first. American Horror Story season seven will be about the recent U.S. election. Asked whether it would feature a character based on Trump, the co-creator said maybe. Now. Ryan Murphy created the show, and let me guess what, I had a hard time with Ryan Murphy for years. Uh, I did not like Glee. I think Nip Tuck went to shit after about two seasons, and uh, I was very excited about American Horror Story. I'm a huge horror fan, and the idea that they were going to come out with an anthology horror series on FX where every season was going to be a different storyline sounded amazing. Then I watched the pilot. Now, I'm not knocking anyone who likes American Horror Story. I know the show's popular, it's got great ratings, it wins awards and stuff, even though the reviews are just okay, it's really never been an acclaimed show, but but people like it, I, I get that, I'm not knocking anyone who likes it, I think it's shit. Most people I talk to like it tell me they like it because it's so bad, it's so good, and they're, they, they feel different about every season, some people like Asylum, some people like the first season, some people like uh, the fourth season, some people, you know, so I'll get that too, a lot of people like different seasons, so, you know... I've tried it. I really, I just don't like it. It's not for me. But beyond that, I don't like Ryan Murphy much. Not knocking some of the recent stuff he's worked on, like uh, American Crime Story, the OJ stuff. But once again, he didn't have much to do with that outside of directing. The guys who wrote that show, showrunners, they actually wrote um, Ed Wood, the Tim Burton film. Uh, he's actually done fe a Feud and a few other things that right now that are really good. I don't think Ryan Murphy's like completely untalented. Even though he did make Eat, Pray, Love, which is one of the worst films I've ever seen. Um, but, okay, so to keep... But just, okay, so here's my thing, though. We know the political climate is going to be commented on a lot, right, in the next few years. Which, whatever, you can do. But I'm already tired of it. I already feel like it's become redundant within 100 days of Trump's presidency. I'm already sick of it from Saturday Night Live... Stephen Colbert seven days a week. I know his ratings have gone up, but God, to the point where Stephen Colbert comes on and says that Trump's a cock holster for Putin on The Late Show, it's just like, okay, every fucking night, I guess, it's just going to get more exaggerated. Russia, Russia, Russia. So the whole thing here is I'm really scared because uh, what was really funny about the new season of Homeland that I laughed at was that they had a female president, which is hilarious because obviously that didn't work out. But with American Horror Story, I'm really worried about this season because I think they're going to have somebody play Donald Trump and they're going to have somebody play Hillary and it's going to be over the top and it's just going to be a... Because not, not, to, not to stereotype Brian Murphy, but he is gay and he is very much a liberal and progressive and uh, his shows are all progressive, like, porn. I mean, Glee is the gayest show ever made. Um, but... Okay, past seasons of American Horror Story have centered uh, on a murder house, a coven of witches, a mental asylum for the criminally insane, but the latest will have the most horrifying, horrifying setting yet, the 2016 U.S. presidential election. While I don't have a title, but the season we begin shooting in June is going to be about the election that we just went through, creator and producer Ryan Murphy said this week. So I think that that'll be interesting for a lot of people. See, my, my fear is that it's going to be like a fuck conservatives, fuck Republicans, they're Nazi, homophobic, anti-gay people. Now, I could be wrong. He could criticize Hillary, too, and, and the Democrats. I hope he does. I hope it's a fair thing, but I'm really worried this is just going to be a fuck Trump thing. Comedy Central has a show on right now called The President or something, and it's just a guy playing Donald Trump in sketches while he's in the White House. Which is, this is already on a network with, like, The Daily Show is already talking about Trump all the time. Even South Park did a bunch of Trump jokes. And they've said they're not going to do it because they're like, it's just fucking tired at this point. But no one else is going to listen to that. Um, also, what artistically could you comment on this election, I wonder, through American Horror Story? I can't really find. But here's where my fears are coming uh, clear to me. I'm getting worried because here's some concept art. American Horror Story Season 7 Election-Inspired Monster Revealed. The season's creature resembles an elephant, which is the symbol of the Republican Party. Now, not only do I not like the show because I think it lacks nuance or, or good subtext or anything, I think it's just a bunch of horror cliches slapped together uh, with some nice aesthetics, no doubt. The aesthetics of American Horror Story are pretty nice. But it's basically just it's just a bunch of cliches from literature and film and, and television and the horror genre slapped together in no new way. 
I've had people try to tell me it's presented in a new way, then I watch it and I go, well, this really isn't new, this is just... It's more of a soap opera way to present it, I guess. It's more exploitive in some ways than, than a lot of modern horror films. And they're wrong. I think the whole current state of horror sucks. I'm not even a big fan of It Follows or The Duke like other people. So I'm a bit of a elitist when it comes to horror. I have very specific things that I like with horror. But uh, th this is my fear about this one, right? Ryan Murphy has revealed the monster that will be running wild during the upcoming election-inspired seventh season of American Horror Story. The showrunner unveiled, uh, unveiled the creature on his Instagram page, and it gives a sense as to how the current state of U.S. politics has inspired the upcoming batch of episodes. It may only be a sketch, but it seems like this character will fit in nicely into the canon of previous American Horror Story monsters, including Bloody Face and Twisty the Clown. Wait, why the fuck isn't the picture here? Uh, hold on, let me refresh this page. I don't know why the picture's not there. Well, that's nice. Okay, well, hold on. This picture was here a second ago. I guess I'm gonna have to just go get it somewhere else. That's stupid. Uh, okay, hold on. American Horror Story. Season 7. Elephant. Oops, okay. Here we go. Yeah, this is this is the thing that Ryan Murphy put on his Instagram. Come on. There it is. American there it is. It's an evil elephant creature wearing a mat like it's an evil smile. Like that actually is kind of a creepy sketch, but the actual makeup and, and work I think in the show I really don't like that much. I think it's it reminds me of uh, Darren Lynn Bowsman stuff on like Repo the Genetic Opera and, or the Saw movies where he direct I really don't like those aesthetics. In that way. Like, I'm not saying American Horror Story isn't well produced. I said it looked good. But it has nice cinematography and stuff. I'm not as big on the costumes and makeup and stuff. And Lady Gaga. Jesus Christ. Um, didn't she win an Emmy for being in that or something? Jesus. God. <laughs> Wait, is this Lady Gaga? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Okay, but there's there's the picture. Okay, so he looks like some Joker-esque uh, monster. Let's go to Deadline and see what they have to say about it. But, okay, so this is my fear. There's going to be these elephant monsters that are Republicans. Are they going to be bad guys? God, Harambe! You fucking... My rabbit's running around in my room and knocking shit over. All my animals just hate me when I record videos for some reason. I have no idea. Okay, we know little about American Horror Story Season 7 other than it's set in the aftermath of the recent presidential election with the first episode taking place on election night. Jesus. What, is it going to be some dystopian thing? Trump wins and then there's going to be all these evil elephant monsters out killing people? We do know American Horror Story veterans Sarah Paulson and Evan Peters, you know, Quicksilver, are returning to... St I do love Evan Peters. I'm glad he gets work on the show. Evan Peters is awesome. And returning to star in season 7 of the horror drama franchise, along with new additions, Billy Lord and Billy uh, Eschner. Stay tuned. Aw, Harambe's coming over here now trying to, like, nibble on me. He's being all cute. Come here, buddy. You want to look at the evil elephant? No? No. Oh. He ran away. He got scared by the elephant. Yeah, this is, this is, in a sense part of the Trump derangement syndrome from the left and the media. This is, like, this obsession with Donald Trump to make it exaggerate evil. I mean, they're going to make the Republicans the evil bad guys now on shows. This could not be true, but this is, this is worrisome for me. I don't know about you guys. This gives me a bad sign that, and they're wrong, it's a TV show. It doesn't have an impact overall. It doesn't really matter. It, it's not the biggest deal in the world that, that American, oh, the fi pitcher finally decided to fucking work. It doesn't matter if it's, you know, political as fuck and it's like fuck republicans and conservatives and it's this elephant monster going around and killing gay people or trans people or being sexist or all that you know it's probably going to be something like that but you know whatever but the same thing same time though it's like when will this stop when will this stop everything even the boss baby is donald trump it's like come on i mean fuck do you remember George Bush was president for for a little while? It was funny, and then after a while, it just got really sad, and then it just became like depressing. That's what this is. Is because you overdo the. They're like comedians are saving us right now. Samantha B, Trevor Noah, Stephen Colbert. And it's like they're just doing really shitty, stale comedy and jokes that have been tired for a while now. They were funny during the the, the election. I won't lie, but they're not funny anymore. Like they can't come up with new jokes. 
And now everything we're seeing, get out political. You know, it's about white privilege and black people not understanding the stuff that black people go through. It's social commentary. Then I watch Get Out and I'm just like, really? Really? That's what the fuck? Th I mean, it's it's so basic about that stuff, too. And uh, then the boss baby comes out. Now we're hearing about American Horror Story Season 7. Every talk show on TV just about is, is leftist leaning and spends most of its time bashing Trump. Uh, I mean, it's just all the fucking time. The Simpsons was the only people that, the only ones that have balls to make fun of the left with that, uh, Yale thing, with them being SJWs. But for the most part, it seems like we're stuck in this thing where none of these artists or creators or people, their whole life was caught up in this political cycle and Hillary Clinton or whatnot, and now that Donald Trump's president, all they can think to do is like, hey, this is all I can talk about, because I can't write a new original story. It's like, man, we don't want to hear about this anymore. We don't, there's nothing to say. We were at the election. We all experienced it. There is no way you're going to make it more exciting, thrilling, and fucking nuts than this election was. It's best to just move on and tell new stories and try to explain your themes and your problems with Trump in new ways. This is so on the fucking nose. Not that Ryan Murphy ever had subtlety. But still, literally it is on the elephant's nose. Let's talk about the elephant in the room here. It isn't the Republicans, it's the left's humorous uh, idea. The idea of comedy to them is we have to attack this administration because everyone hates Trump and he's a pile of comedy gold. Meanwhile, what they don't get about that is that while that joke becomes more and more and more tired out to everyone, except people that are, that are SJWs and radical leftists that just continuously like to laugh at the Trump stuff that's so tired at this point, you go there, all they're doing is keeping themselves in their little bubble and not uniting people, and they're keeping their party divided from the other party. So when the next election cycle comes, we'll still be having the same fights we're having now. Because they don't want to make progress. Progressive my ass. It's not progressive when your whole progressive movement is built around attacking uh, so-called Nazis or, uh, or, or labeling people sexist, racist, xenophobic, extreme things. That's your whole movement's basis for the most part. That, that is the progressive movement is to be progressive in the way we see it against white men who don't understand the society and the complexities of all of this stuff. Well, you know what? It's, it's, it's kind of the issue with this is that Trump is the president. Donald Trump won. So you have to start looking at some point why he won that isn't a reason that makes other people so look so bad without demonizing other people. You have to look at why Hillary Clinton lost. You have to look at the problems with your party. I've been saying this for months. No one listens. But here we are at this point now. They're not going to do that. They're going to once again make Trump a monster. Republicans are monsters. This narrative's just died. Being a teenager in the Bush administration, I remember being so like, fuck yeah, liberalism, we gotta fight these evil conservatives. And so much of that was years and years of brainwashing of Republicans just being completely evil and Democrats being the good guys. And then when Obama came in, the whole illusion was, well, we have, a, we have our savior. You know, I mean, there really was this Jesus thing about Obama. You, Hi, my name's Obama, but you can call me Jesus. And then we get eight years of progressive bullshit politics basically obama takes none of the big corporate money out of politics he bails out wall street he doesn't jail any of the bankers i mean basically obama does none of the things he said he was going to do the big things that he was going to do take corruption and money out of politics none of it he just added to it okay then we're now in the trump administration the craziest fucking victory we've had in years donald trump being the president the craziest shit to happen in a long time actual change in progress i would say something new happening like whoa this opens <coughs> This opens up the floodgates to all kinds of possibilities. Instead, we have to go backwards to the Bush administration when I was a teenager, where liberals try to demonize the evil conservative Republicans. Problem is, that message doesn't work anymore. What worked in the early 2000s and mid-2000s isn't going to work anymore because we now see Berkeley and Antifa. Uh, we, now, we now know that you guys rigged your elections. We now know that Hillary Clinton rigged the election. And I know I'm going on a tangent opposite from the original story of Ryan Murphy. I'm just speaking in a broad sense about all this stuff on Donald Trump, right? We now know all this corruption and shitty stuff about the left. We now have seen the hypocrisy of Obama and the left. We have now seen, uh, I mean, and everyone knows it. It's not something that's being hidden to us. We've now seen the media be biased, incredibly so, towards the left. So everyone knows this. People aren't trusting the media. This generation's leaning conservative. And we have Brexit, Trump. Uh, Le Pen has gained popularity in France, right? There's this right movement. 
and they can't look at that as anything but some kind of nationalist Nazi party rising during uh, during the 20s and 30s in Germany before World War II, before we went into World War II, really, the 20, and it's like, it's like, that's not what this is. <laughs> that's not what this is, guys. Um, the context is, is that your party is full of shit. The neocon corporate Democrat is not a progressive, and the people that do claim to be so-called progressives, progressives most of the time, are pushing identity politics, social justice, cultural cultural Marxist bullshit that we don't like anymore, and it's tired and old, and it's not popular, it's not hip with young people, BuzzFeed shit, MTV News is shit, that's not the cool shit that people want to watch, and uh, we're getting tired of it, it's just, it's just getting old now. Sure, people go see those movies, and people watch these shows, and there's still a huge group of people, millions, I'd even say the majority of the country still leans liberal and likes these things in a, in a way, but everyone's going to get burnt out. And when you burn us all out, then you're really not going to have a lot of firepower to attack Trump and the Republican Party later. Because everyone's going to be burned out by all your shit because you've just done everything you could possibly do in 100 days. Basically, Trump is a Nazi who's colluded with Russia to take out the U.S. and turn it into a white supremacist utopia. And that's that's the thing. So, uh, I don't know. It's just It's just ridiculous because we're at a point now where... Uh, political satire, political commentary, comedy, and, 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 and film and art exploring these things are all doing the same things. They've made it redundant already because they don't want to look inside of themselves and, and explore these things. They always have the outside bubble, they always have this outside perspective that everyone sees this thing as, as good versus evil. We're good versus evil. Look at any celebrity that you follow on Twitter. I mean, I follow a lot of them. Every single one of their tweets is them retweeting some news thing or something with Trump, and then they give their spin on it, and then they talk about how they have to fight this evil. It's like, who the fuck are you? It's it's ridiculous. These these people are... It's, it's made people even more social justice warrior. I thought SJWs were dead. They didn't just die. They evolved. They're no longer social justice warriors. They're like social justice gods because now they think they've evolved to super saiyan social justice where they are infinite beings of power and wisdom and, and, and everything like that. It's... It's insanity, so it's it's at a point now where we watch the White House Correspondents' Dinner, all the jokes are the shit we expected. I went through that on a live stream. And uh, now all all the entertainment we're going to get, even, even the horror stories are going to be about Donald Trump because he's the most horrific thing in the world. And the Republicans. Like I said, I could be wrong. I could be totally wrong when this premieres, and I'll admit it if I'm wrong. If I'm not, and this is just a bunch of political bullshit... And uh, we'll probably be watching some episodes of American Horror Story Season 7 and talking about it. This probably won't be the last video on it. So look for an update in the future on this topic. Because uh, I am very interested in following up on this. Anyway, give me your opinion in the comments section. Do you like American Horror Story? Like, comment, and subscribe. This is the Patriarchy. Until next time, go fuck yourselves, my friends.